Hi everyone, it's Marissa with BumblebeeApothecary.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a basic gap soup recipe. This is a perfect soup for anybody who's on the very beginning stages of the gaps introduction diet. So this is just a really basic soup recipe that can just get you started. It's something that's easy to put together and very nourishing on those beginning stages of the GAPS diet. But don't think that this is the only kind of soup that you can eat while you're on the GAPS diet. There are so many different variations and recipes that you can use and so many different soups that you can make. And we'll be going into some of those later, but this is one to get you started. You can definitely change the vegetables out somewhat. There are some that are really good to keep in a lot of different soup recipes like onions, carrots and celery are basics in a lot of different soup recipes, but beyond that feel free to use what vegetables you have on hand, what are in season, and what sound good to you, all within what's allowed in the GAPS diet of course, and in whatever stage you're in. So the first thing that we're going to do is to just add all of our things to our cooking pot. It's really easy. So first we'll add some onion and garlic. After that, we'll add some celery. Next, we'll add some carrots. And then some peeled and diced winter squash, like butternut squash is a great choice. After that, I'm going to cover everything that's in the pot with some meat stock. And this is the meat stock that we made in a previous video, which I will link in the cards and the description box below. So we're just going to add enough of that to cover our vegetables. And then I'm going to put this on the heat and we're gonna start off by bringing it to a boil. Once it's come to a boil, we're going to reduce it to a simmer and then let that cook for about 20 to 30 minutes until the vegetables are soft and it kind of depends on your temperature. You might have to go a little bit longer, but it's very important, especially in the beginning stages of the GAPS diet, that the vegetables are cooked very soft. Okay, so at this point in the recipe, after the vegetables have cooked long enough so that they're nice and soft, we're just going to add our cooked chicken. This is the meat from the cooked chicken that we used when we, when we made the meat stock. So I'm just going to add that. And since the chicken is already cooked, um, you just want to make sure that it's heated through. You don't want to keep cooking that um, for a really long time because if the chicken is overcooked then it doesn't taste as good. So just enough to be heated through and then at this point it's a good idea to taste it and see if you want to add any more salt. In the later stages of the GAPS diet you can do pepper too and you can add different herbs. In the very beginning stages it's good to keep it more basic so that it's really nice and soothing and it doesn't have anything that would be too strong for a healing digestive system in the very beginning. And so it's pretty much ready to eat. So let's go ahead and dish some up here. All those colorful vegetables in there. Cooked nice and soft, it smells really good. Then that beautiful meat stock that's so nourishing all of those nutrients for healing the digestive system. That looks so good. So there it is, a nice bowl of soup. You can eat this for any meal of the day on the GAPS diet. The very beginning stages when choices of what you can eat are very limited, you will find that soup makes a delicious breakfast, whereas you may have never thought of it that way before. On my blog, bumblebeeapothecary.com, I will have a full written article that has the entire recipe and everything I've talked about, as well as a printable recipe card if you'd like to grab one of those. I'll put a link to that in the description box below. Also, I have a free ebook that is a GAPS diet kitchen checklist. It includes all of the foods and equipment that you want to make sure that you have in your kitchen before you start the GAPS diet as well as some things that you wanna make sure you get rid of and don't use. It's a really handy, free, printable checklist, and I'll put a link to that in the description box below also so that you can grab that. I have lots more GAPS recipes coming up for all the different stages, so stay tuned for those. 
Also, let me know what you guys would like to see. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what you think. I always like to hear from you guys and I try to respond to all the comments that I get. Okay, if you like this video and found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. Share it with anybody that you think might find it interesting or helpful. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I make new videos every week on traditional health wisdom and living a sustainable DIY lifestyle. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.